All right, and prepare yourself for our fifth snow event of the season. This one's going to be different than the last four, which have only produced a trace of snow. So as we're now a little more than six hours away from this event starting, here's our overall thinking going into a snowstorm around here. And it's going to be one of those things where it is our best chance of winter. But it's also going to be one of those nights where you go to bed and your grass is green, wet, or brown, whatever it is, and you wake up and it's going to be snow covered. And that's always a little bit of excitement, especially where we are now in the world. So I hope you can at least enjoy whatever winds up on your front yard tomorrow. Here's what's changed in the last 24 hours the snow totals have gone up, not drastically, but they've gone up some. And winter weather advisories have been issued. Remember, those are issued to give us a heads up that, hey, the snow that's going to fall might cause some problems on area roads. Not major problems and not widespread, but some spots could be slick on the roads tomorrow. But here's what's going to make or break the forecast. How heavy is this snow going to get overnight? Between about 2 and 5 a.m., is it going to be heavy enough to overcome what happened today? And that is sunshine. While it was nice and we enjoyed it, we needed it, that sun warmed up the ground some. How much will that melt the snow that falls? So those are big questions as we head into tonight. There it is. That's the rain that will move in after 8 o'clock tonight. And there's the snow that will change over after midnight. And our temperatures, which were so chilly yesterday, warmed up some today. Not drastically. It wasn't shorts and flip-flops weather. 40s and 50s. And more importantly, that sun hitting the pavement that's going to hold on to some of that warmth and energy overnight and melt a lot of that snow that hits it. That's why most of the accumulation is going to be on grassy areas and elevated surfaces. So here's how it's going to go down tonight. First, with the clouds. They will increase again and then thicken up and then be cloudy all night long. Rain will start about 10 o'clock, and it'll be rain up until about midnight for most everyone, and then it'll turn to snow as we get into the early morning hours. Our temperatures will fall down to about freezing. Yes, it's freezing, but it's not cold enough to put sheets of ice everywhere tomorrow morning. Not going to be that type of system. Here's what the radar will look like at 8 o'clock. You see, here comes the rain. I'll stop it at 10. Rain overspreading most of the area, and it's rain for most everyone at midnight, but that's about the time that's going to start to change over to snow. First along the Virginia border, as usual, then spreading into the triangle about 2 a.m. This is where it could be heavy snow overcoming some melting, continuing as snow even down into the sandhills for a short time for most everyone by about 3 a.m. But look what happens. By 6 a.m., the moisture is pulling out of here. So we got a short window to get some accumulating snow. And here's what we think the end result will be. First, the purple most likely amounts 2 to 4 inches. That's north and northeast of the triangle. In the triangle, most likely 1 to 2 inches. And just a dusting down in the sand hills. Again, these numbers will fluctuate as we head into the overnight hours. So we'll continue to keep an eye on it. The bigger story, I think, is going to be it's staying chilly. Highs only in the low 40s for the next several days, including windy conditions tomorrow. But we've got another good chance of rain Sunday, maybe a little mix with warmer weather by next week. Coming up at 530.